really, bro? <laughs> Ready? One, two, three, go. Good stuff, good stuff. All right, guys, so TQ is gonna start plowing. I'm gonna get the blowing. Watch, you got a white car back there. She sees it. That's why you always have to be aware. You never know what somebody else is gonna do. You can, you can know what you can do and what you can control, but you don't know about the other person. So TQ is gonna start wind rowing this away from the building when you're plowing. You wanna to try to keep the snow as much as possible away from your buildings or structures, homes, anything like that, because if it gets built up along it, you know, it can cause water damage, foundation problems, stuff like that.
so the key is to get some momentum before you get that plow onto the ground that just uh saves a little wear and tear on the plow setup the truck you know who knows how much it really does overall but you can definitely tell when you start with some momentum versus trying to pull up to a pile and push off the go Making me get a workout in TQ. Good job. I tried to run. She just kept going faster and faster. <sighs> no, I'm just kidding. I do need to get back to running though. I was up to five miles in about uh, 35 minutes, 40 minutes. Now I've been considering buying the extensions for this plow, but I'll be honest with you guys, this is gonna be the last year we have this truck. Uh, it's getting up, I think it's got 110,000 miles now. The transmission, all that stuff, warranty ends at 120,000. So she's just going back through cleaning it up now, the little bit of over wind row that come, comes out around there. One of the reasons I've been considering those extensions, but I think when we sell this truck, that plow is going to go with it. For most of you that don't know, when a company buys a truck of this caliber, uh, you know, typically they'll keep it five years and then they'll just trade it off. Uh, a lot of them, like a gentleman mentioned the other day, they won't even do real maintenance on them. They'll do the oil changes, brake stuff like that. But like the oil spray and stuff like we do on our truck, they're not going to worry about it. They're going to kick it on down the road and let it be somebody else's problem. Yeah, I'll probably throw it by hand. It's over here. Yep. So we'll put two and a half on this lot. I'll keep that other for this over here. So I know some of you were asking why I didn't bring the snow blowers with me to my parents' house. Simply guys, I cannot get this in and out of the truck bed by myself, if you can hear me. If I don't have TQ, we can't utilize it. So it's kind of a, a downfall to having a snow blower. <laughs> Good, good. Sean's gonna salt the walkways and I'm gonna finish plowing the lot and then we're gonna be on to the next one.
All right guys, so we always push that to here and then we'll go down to this end and push everything this way. So this is called wind rowing. You're basically pushing the snow, but at the same time, the excess is just rolling over to the next one. Now we tend to like to just go back at the end and push the little bit of overhang here to the left. You can see those few little rows. We'll come back and just go into scoop mode and push those rather than trying to do a little bit less of a bite on our wind row and uh, reducing that. It just, I, I find it's just a little bit quicker to go in the scoop and just finish uh, cleaning those up and moving on down the road. So that's just a real quick how-to video of plowing, salting out a parking lot, doing a little bit of snow blowing, how we go around our edges and get it out into the lot, and then just clean it all up with the plow. So this is pretty wet and heavy and she's plowed the whole thing in two wheel drive so that's good. So I love showing these style of videos from time to time because this gives you a real world look into what you can expect if you're a guy or gal looking to do snow removal. This is going to show you exactly what it's going to take, how hard it is. It's not easy, it's not cheap, but it can be very rewarding. You just have to really know what you're doing, looking into your equipment that you're going to use, uh, the upkeep, the maintenance, all of that guys. It's not cheap, I won't lie but it can be very rewarding in the same sense. So as always, keep plowing, keep salting, keep making money, boys.